every square inch forever and ever. V-stars are pretty amazing, huh? Beautiful. You've been here before? No, this is the first time. You know, I've been a lot of places in northern New Mexico, but not here. This is the gem. They have these, you know, just to get the procedure, I mean, I just read about this. They, they have these live fish in these cages, and I, I assume those are all in place now. Mm -hmm. And so they'll start to drip the you know, in and then observe the fish and see if they die? Um, right. Usually the, they'll have these buckets set up at intervals. Uh -huh. And uh, that, that, those will be where the rotenone is mixed and dripping into the stream at a steady rate. And right above each bucket there will be uh, you know, the sentry station with some fish in it to make sure the bucket above that is working. Uh -huh. And then, uh, or every, yeah. So, so the fish that you've got, the, these are just hatchery rainbows or something, or to, to put in the cages? Yeah. So Most of them, anyway. Yeah. We have come through here and, and shot some fish too. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the ones that we're using are the are the sentry fish or the or the hatchery rainbows. Do you know about how many parts per million or billion uh, the the rotenone is added? I you don't, don't know. Yeah, I was thinking these streams they streaming pretty fast, right. so it gets diluted pretty quick. You think either you have to have a high concentration or or the stuff must be pretty toxic. <laughs> uh, no, it's very toxic. Very fish. toxic. Uh, oh yeah, very toxic fish. How effective is the electric? It's pretty effective. I mean, it, it does. We can get a lot of fish out that way. Yeah. But the only thing wrong with that is you never get them all. You never get them all. Never. The, the actual Rio Grande cut trout, trout is here too, right? Yes. And, and that, in fact, that's uh, mostly what you'll find in here. Mostly the, what you find in the, here. Yeah, the, they're not a pure strain. I think it's a great project. I think you ask most fishermen, they'll agree. The fishermen agree it's a great, great so. project. Because they get a higher quality fish? Yeah, and you get a pure strain. That, you know, a lot of anglers, it's important to them to get a pure strain of the fish. I think it's important to keep a pure strain of our native fish. We can keep it off the endangered species list, and that, that means we can keep fishing for them. Uh -huh. So you think it's mainly spread by, by anglers themselves? Releasing it here and there. I mean, it's uh, trout are pretty mobile in, in a watershed. They, there's no real good barriers for them. I'm thinking that that's the detox. No. Those blue buckets are full of the potassium permanganate. Oh, I see. And you know, so you got a respirator on. Yeah, because the guy in the water does. Yeah, so he must be mixing. The actually handling this stuff. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? You want to give it a go? <laughs> give it a go. Okay. Let's see. Wow. They'll put the required amount of uh, the rodent known in that bucket. Well, first they'll calibrate it, make sure it's dripping right. Uh -huh. Then they mix it, seal up the bucket, and then, and then leave it. Hi, Amy. Hey, Sam. Hi, Amy. How you doing? Good, Good. to see you. Oh, you know each other. It's been a few years. I won't shake your hand because... It's sweaty and stinky. <laughs> it's sweaty so you guys stay in this suit all day long? 
You don't have to, uh -huh. but it's so we don't have to deal with our clothes getting ishy. Uh huh. Then they got a place where we hang these up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it is it smelly? It's not smelly. It's not. Uh -huh. They said it smells a little bit like lacquer. Uh -huh. We used some stuff in Arizona a couple of years ago. It was smelly. Uh huh. I think it had more petroleum. Uh huh. So yeah, this is even less smelly than like anamycin. So, uh, are you mixing this according to these new guidelines from the EPA? That uh, if I, you know, I can't describe them exactly, but you can't. You're, 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 you're not well, supposed to expose the powder to the air. This doesn't come in powdered form. Oh. It comes in liquid form. In liquid form. Yeah. I see. Some some of the um, formulations are in powder. Uh huh. And then the ones these guys got. And I think it's the I think it's the newer formulation that they got from Europe. Do you know, Dan? I'm not Don't sure we try where they the got it. But, yeah, stuff that's I, supposed I, to I be. I know it's not powder. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. no, it's liquid. I see. Yeah. So so you dump the liquid in the five gallon bucket and then or. How, yeah, they how take does flows it work? and then they figure out what each bucket needs depending on where it is in the watershed. So. And so then the, back at our there's a, back at that camp you guys came yeah. through. They they prepared bottles for each bucket. And then one person at, with New Mexico Game and Fish who's, I guess you have to be res respirator certified or something. Uh huh. Make sure their respirators fit right. Uh huh. Then, like, he added my chemical. I see. 